thanks for joining us. One of my questions uh, that I can go into is about autonomous vehicles. We really need to figure out how to move forward with safety innovations. So a fully self-driving car, well, that could take care of a lot of problems, any of the impairments, right? At the same time, you've now raised one of the biggest issues that's, I think, upon us right now, which is the average age of a vehicle, 11 and a half years. And if you had the perfect self-driving car tomorrow, <laughs> it can take 20 or 30 years for that to fully penetrate the fleet. Right. We're gonna to wanna to keep driving. People yeah. gonna wanna have their hands on the wheel experiencing what it's like. And, and so besides just the automation side of this, I think we're gonna have a long transition where there will be a mix on our roads of partially autonomous vehicles, potentially fully self-driving vehicles, right. and just us humans out there you know, wanting to drive our cars. And I think that's gonna be a challenge for us is what that mixed fleet is gonna mean as far as safety. Great opportunity, the technology has to be deployed safely, so we make sure it meets its life-saving potential, but it's gonna be decades before we see really a lot of the benefits. NITS is interested in whatever we can do now to save lives, but I think what we're looking at is a balance between what can we do now with safety innovations that will save lives, understanding much of this is literally unfolding in front of us right now. And so a key is how do we ensure that these new safety innovations really do provide the improvements, those lives saved, crashes avoided that we're looking for, and don't introduce new safety risks. So you mentioned the distraction. There are all kinds of things like cybersecurity. You know, you're thinking about new kinds of technology, sure. but if your car can get hacked, you're not gonna wanna get in it. And, and we focus on the safety, but there's great mobility opportunities for the disabled community, for all of us as we get older. Uh, there's all kinds of sustainability just to protect the planet as we move toward you know, new kinds of models of how this works. All of that future is really being created right now in front of Very exciting. NHTSA's focus is how do we make sure it gets done safely so that the things that we can benefit from now are safely deployed. Let's take full advantage of those, knowing that there's going to be a long pathway really for full realization of what this could mean on our roadways.